Hi, Dick Rochford here, and this is a uh, Piper Malibu Mirage, a G1000 suite NXI, 9 Lima Delta. And uh, we're level 6000 on our way to John Toon, JWN, at uh, Nashville area. We've been assigned direct by coal, which is the initial approach fix for runway 20. And the weather is VMC, not perfect, but it's it's good. And we're expecting a visual. So what I'd like to discuss is uh, what what your options might be. Back. I'll take Memphis Center on one three two. And how to think about this? Three three eighty five. Three three eighty five. Three three eighty five. Good day, break down forty eight. Frequently, I find pilots are indecisive and or make uh, kind of critical decisions. Uh, late or not so well on a visual. It's, it's not cookbook, like an RNAV approach. But with that in mind, I can tell you, we have loaded the RNAV 2-0. We're going direct by coal. The idea here is, is that if, if and when we get to the airport in sight, we can say so. And since it's VMC, we can shortcut uh, the exact path on the approach. That's good for us uh, because it gets us to the ground with more fuel and it's also good for ATC because they have fewer airplanes to deal with. This is uh, John Toon. It's a towered airport with um, adequate runways, so we'll have the advantage of not having to cancel um, or being encouraged to cancel prior to landing. So with a non-towered airport, we need to spend a good portion of our time locating traffic and staying um, out of the way of the pattern and sequencing ourselves into the pattern and or uh, for the straight end as the case may be. Skywest 4715, proceed direct to Sarah. Direct to So uh, once you cancel IFR, of course, you're no longer on a visual approach, you're VMC. But there's a tweener approach, a tweener, that I'd like to mention anyway, and that's the contact approach. Now, that you may know the rule for the contact approach is uh, a minimum of one mile clear of clouds, reasonably certain to stay that way. There has to be an approach at the airport of arrival and no fair scud running somewhere else. And all that's true. Your uh, cloud separation minima goes away, so there's some uh, relief there. The, pers the, the purpose of the contact approach is, is to make it doable even when uh, the weather is technically below three miles, let's say two miles in haze. And when you get the second, the, uh, it protects the, uh, pr protects the pilot in that you're, you're on an official instrument approach and uh, not having to uh, deal necessarily with other VFR traffic because the field is IMC. Contact approach, of course, you cannot uh, expect them to offer it. You have to know that's what you want, to know that it's within your limits and safe to do, and uh, you have to ask for it. So um, if it turns out that we get five miles from an unfamiliar airport, and we know right where it is, we have GPS, we've got the approach loaded, but we can't see the field, we're not allowed to say we see the field, and therefore won't be given a visual, and at which point it becomes safer, I believe, to ask for and receive a contact approach than it would be to continue in to an airport area where we, we didn't know exactly how we were going to get to the runway. Uh, currently, we're in a layer of clouds here. It's a little bit bumpy, 14 miles 
for by call, we slowed it down to about 150 knots for the bumps. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Dick Rochford, fly safely. Train off it. 